into this other product, these Caron Dash crayons. They're absolutely incredible. So after I finished my wetting and it dried, I came in and painted the colors with watercolor. And then I just came in with these crayons and just started scribbling all over it. I couldn't stop. It was so much fun. And I just came in and started this scribbling and drawing and kind of accenting. I put some blues on the trees, some pinks and oranges on the fall foliage, some yellows down here. There was just no stopping. It was so much fun. So you might want to try combining these lovely Caron Dash crayons with some of your finished work. Here's another one where, again, I did a little drawing with the crayon and then I just came in and just let it just let it happen wherever I thought I could have a little fun. Now when you draw with these crayons, you actually have another element that don't see that's why mine are all broken. <laughs> I press hard. You can come in, draw with the crayons, and you can also take your brush, wet it, and you can activate the crayon into a beautiful opaque color. Look at that. And I can actually pick that color up and move it to another area. And I'm really sorry I didn't bring my white crayon. The white one is the best. I, it's, I probably used it all up. I'm just going to have to go buy some more. <laughs> but the white is great. And I frequently will activate the white and completely change a painting just with these crayons. They're so much fun. So you can do it wet or you can do it dry. And another thing you can do, sometimes it's the only thing I bring. It's my elegant writer and my crayons, and I can just sit and do a whole painting. And see, you can just activate the color like this and come in and paint with it. So it's really very versatile. I'm going to show you another picture where I've started here. You can see I've still got some more areas to work, but I've been dragging this around with different workshops, so I probably painted this at one workshop, this at another workshop. I painted this one here because <laughs> everybody wants to know about the elegant writer. So I've still got a little bit left to paint. Now remember with this dry, this mister drying, wetting everything so that it will be completely dry and won't reactivate. Here you can see another picture where I came in and just went crazy with the color. And I also came and drew with the Caron Dash crayon, all these pinks you see, blues, the greens. Those were all just drawn on later. I couldn't stop. Here's an example of the crayons where I combined them, first of all, with the Elegant Writer. Then I put collage paper down. Then I drew on them with the crayon. And see, that is just, this is the best. Just to come in and to add those beautiful red, exciting lines, some of the white lines, I absolutely love that look. Here's another fun one. This one started with the Elegant Writer, with the roots. Then I decided to tape this off, and I put some powdered charcoal down, just threw the water over it to get more of this beautiful, the side of the ground and then of course I couldn't stop there I had to take my pink in this case and do a little drawing right on the roots and and I used a little bit of yellow green and pink on on the roots for the finishing and now another area I've been working in this sort of looks like the elegant writer but it isn't this is actually a mono print. So the black lines you see and some of this black ink that's kind of just sloppily all over the place, that's because I can't stop touching it and I get it all full of this, but I like that. <laughs> then I painted this with watercolor. When I was almost done, I drew in some of these fun lines with, what else? Caron Dash crayons. And this is my last one. And again, you can see here, I really got carried away. Look at, I got a little gold leaf on here. I've got some of the crayons, collage papers, everything. 
So I hope you have fun. That's, I, to me, that's what watercolor is all about. It mixes so well with other medias, and it just frees you up to do anything your little heart desires.